So here we have the Mini Countryman on a 62 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Uh, we're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors and those twin tailpipes. Uh, plenty of boot space as well, which can be increased by folding down any or all of the three rear seats that you see there. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around the car uh, to the front. Uh, and then we'll hop in and run through those controls I mentioned before. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter, as you can see, the digital readout for the speedometer, and then the main trip computer section, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 78,580. In that section, it will also show you what gear this car is in. It's automatic, so we are in park at the moment. You can change the information displayed on there, uh, pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have our stereo and phone controls, cruise control, and then the paddles that you see uh, just here will push or pull to go up and down a gear, and you can use either paddle to do that. And of course, it's an automatic gearbox, but that will allow you to change it manually. Over in the center, we have the main speedometer here, the fuel gauge, and then the main screen for the car, which as you can see, includes satellite navigation. Uh, we can come back to the main menu. All the movement you see me making on the screen at the moment is being done using this dial just here. You can come back to the home screen for me, but the dial will do virtually everything. So you can rotate it to radio, for example, push it down to go into the radio menu, we can jog it over to the left to get back to the main menu where you'll see we've got FM, AM and DAB radio available. Uh, we can come back to the home screen. If you want to listen to your own music, go to this heading just here where we've got USB input, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input. We've also got our CD player as well. And again, back to the home screen, you can pair your telephone up just here. Working our way down from that, we have the CD player, the main volume for the stereo and then climate control. So you can adjust the driver temperature, the um, fan speed. You can determine where you would like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. You can recirculate the air that's in the car, which we're doing at the moment. We can turn that off. But recirculating the air is a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly in here, depending on the temperature you've set just there. Air conditioning's on at the minute, so that's off. Back on again, or you can hit auto. In doing so, the car will now take full control of the fan speed um, and the direction of the air to maintain the temperature you've asked for. Press auto again and you go back to whatever setting you had that on previously. Beneath that, we have a heated driver's seat and a heated passenger seat, both of which have three heat settings each. We have our electric windows, front and rear for the driver's side, front and rear for the passenger side. Deadlocks, so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. If we move the gear lever out of the way, we have down the bottom here, traction control, you can turn off sport mode. We can turn the child locks on for the rear windows so they can't be operated from the back. Front and rear fog lights as well, two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The controls we went through just a moment ago and then USB and auxiliary input down here. The last thing I want to mention are the two sunroofs you see here. So you have manual sun blinds you can pull over the rear and front one. You can obviously leave it like this and it lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area, but if you wish to, you can open both as tilting sunroofs or this front one as a full sliding sunroof. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.